Hey guys, Pat Washit here, and finally, here is the 3DS Maths tutorial for you guys. And today I will be doing an introduction on how to import a source model into 3DS Maths. Now before I begin, I'd like to give you guys a heads up that all these websites I will be talking about, the link to them will be in the description. So you don't have to worry about maximizing your screen and trying to read my text. So to start off, we are on the Autodesk website, and these are the manufacturers for the software we'll be using for modeling. Now, what's great about them is I, I'm assuming they finally realized that, well, pe because people are pirating their software all the time, they wanted to give an option to students in high school, maybe college, uh, a free one-year trial. And what's great is, let's say you start off with maybe 2010, when that year is over, you can move on to 2011. So make sure when you download whichever year you're doing, make sure you maybe jump back a couple years, maybe two or three years. So you're always behind and you'd always download every other year or every year. When you get ready, create an account, you know, choose a school or choose a school you will be going to. Um, and then download it. It might take, depending on your internet speed, it might take a couple hours, but download and install it. Uh, once you're done installing, uh, don't open it quite yet. I don't want you guys going too far ahead. Um, the next thing I want you guys to download is from the website called NEMS Tools. It's called GCF Stape. And what this does is it allows you to open up the source folders with all the models and materials for the game you're choosing. Like for example, Team Fortress 2 in this case. So download that and it will just be a very quick install. Uh, the next one we'll be using is from wonderboy.org. And this is a very important uh, process here because it's an, it will allow 3ds Max to import SMD files. So install it or download this first and in the zip folder there will be a readme. Just follow the readme and it's pretty basic. You just put different files in different folders. So follow that and make sure uh, you keep track of what type of 3ds Max you're using. Um, there is 32-bit and there's also 64-bit. So make sure that you don't mix those up. Uh, the next one I'd like to talk about, the tool is called Quick and Dirty Bloodlines Tool version 3.9a. And this allows you the, the texture format for every source model is VTF. And, and it's called, it stands for Valve Texture Format. And this allows you to convert from VTF to TGA. And TGA is just a different type of image format. It's a higher quality of JPEG and also PNG. So this will allow you to import the texture into 3ds Max, so you can see whichever character or model you're using with the full detail. Once you get done downloading all the software and installing them, we're going to finally choose a model we actually want to use from Team Fortress 2. Alright, to navigate to the source models that you want to use, you're going to go to your computer and choose whichever hard drive stores the Steam operating or the Steam software. Uh, for me, it's E Drive. Then you you will go to Program Files. You go to Steam. Then finally, Steam Apps. And under there, you're gonna see these. Once you have GCF Steam installed, uh, you'll see all these little uh, icons, like these little blue icons, uh, to the left of the source models, and because we'll be doing Team Fortress 2, uh, we'll be using the Team Fortress 2 materials.gcf folder. And once you double click on that, you'll see a little window pop up. And under the TF folder, we're going to go to Models, Player, and then finally we're going to scroll down to, let's try the demo. Let's try demo man. And so everything that says demo, okay, we're going to highlight it. So everything that has demo in front, we're going to highlight all of those. And make sure you, you create a folder first. I completely forgot about that. So let me create one real quick. So demo. And what you want to do is once you have everything highlighted with demo in the front, you're going to click and hold the left click, and then you're going to drag all the way to your folder. Okay, so 
to double check what's opening up and you should see all this stuff in there okay so here's the deal now what we're going to do next we're, we are going to get the materials or the textures now okay so these are the models the physical aspect so we are going to backtrack all the way to when you see these three folders materials models and sound now models are the 3d models themselves and the materials will have everything with the vtf file or the valve texture format and what we're going to do here it's going to have a very similar navigation to find the demo man textures so once we open materials we are going to scroll down to models and it's going to be the same navigation so player demo and then everything's here all right so let's choose Choose whichever color you want. I am going to choose blue. And what you want to do is you want to get everything blue. So let's try dib. Invon, you can ignore zombie, you can ignore hands. You definitely want those. Also the head. So you're going to do the same thing once you have uh, everything for blue or red, whichever you chose. Uh, go ahead and drag and drop into your demo folder. Okay, now next up for this part, we're going to close this window and we are going to navigate to your username file. So Steam, Steam apps, your username, and then under source STK, we are to open that up and you go to bin EP1 and bin one more time. Okay, and if you scroll down, You'll see a little source logo. Uh, it will be called model decompiler.exe. What this will do, it will convert a model into pretty much an SMD file or format. And this is where the SMD importer would work. And it will import it into 3DS mats and you can open it up. So begin to begin, let's open this up. And you should see this little window pop up. Canon Canon Fodder's MDL decompiler. And what's going to happen is you, it says choose model file. Now, because everything's on the desktop under the demo folder, we are going to navigate to this folder. So, desktop, scroll down, demo, and then demo.mdl. Now, you have to make sure. Uh, for some reason, the this has to be done to every MDL file before importing. You have to edit it, edit first with Notepad or Notepad++, uh, whichever one. Once you open it, you have to make sure after the IDST0, this is the main thing you want to focus right here. Ignore everything else. The only thing you want to focus on is the one in green. With that zero, after IDST, you want to change it zero to a comma. And the reason why you want to do this is it will, it will confuse the converter and it'll allow you to convert it. If you don't do this, it will not be able to, to convert. So keep that in mind, this is a very important step. So once that's done, you can go ahead and minimize and go back here. And then the output directory, it usually will be the same folder. If you want to choose a different, that's fine too. So it's demo, it's already there. So, so, so select, and then uncheck everything here at the bottom, and then extract. Okay, so loaded. Completed dumping model. So that means it's a very good sign. That means you got it done. So click OK. We're going to close this. Next, you want to minimize. And now open up 3ds Max. And I already have it opened up. It's already loaded. Save us some time. Now, at the very top, um, you should be able to go to Import. And click Import. Navigate to your desktop. And go to the demo folder. Now, in here, you should see everything. And if you do not know, you probably might be confused. It's okay. If you see all these files here with SMD, that means it's a very good sign. That means 3DS Mats is able to see this type of format. If you're not able to see SMD, that means whatever you did, um, make sure you go through the README one more time and install the converter correctly. Um, so back to the tutorial. Uh, LOD, well, if you don't know what LOD stands for, it stands for level of detail. And what happens is, as the numbers progress from lower to higher, a lower number means it has more polygons. The higher the number, which is sits in this case, 
means it has a less amount of polygons. With level of details, when you're farther away or you don't see, let's say they're across the map, um, on your screen, those models will be at the lowest detail. So it doesn't take up as, a much, as much memory, CPU, and also video card. All right, so once you're ready to import everything, we are, gonna, we are going to scroll down to the very bottom and we are going to select demo morphs low dmx.smd and this will import the demo man for us so once you see this window pop up half-life 2 smd importer that's a very good sign make sure everything on the left is checked you know on or the chatbot has made sure all of them are checked and then click ok now it's going to ask for the texture formats ignore this for right now so we're hit cancel for right now i'll get back to that later so now if you Look in your viewport as you see the demo man. Now, uh, t for quick purposes, so it's easier to see, um, if you want to maximize one viewport, each one, you can configure this on your own for your custom purposes. But for right now, I am going to maximize the perspective viewport, because that's what you use to look around and see. So to maximize, hold down the Alt key and hit W. Okay, so now you should see a full screen of this demo man. The next step will be converting the VTF files to TGA. Now, if you open up your quick and dirty bloodlines tools, uh, you should see all these tabs at the very top. What you want to do, you want to go to texture tools. All right, so you want to go to open file, navigate to your demo folder, and let's say, let's just do one at a time for right now. So it would be, let's say demo man blue or red, if you did red, VTF. Double click. And then at the bottom middle of all these buttons, there's these sets buttons here. Do you convert to TGA? Boom. And decompress to TGA at the very bottom. That's what you want to see. And this will be put in the same folder as the demo folder. And the only uh, crappy part about this tool is it only does one VTF at a time. You can't just select all of them and then do convert to TGA and you're done. You have to do one at a time. So let's do the demo man head. Same thing, convert to TGA. Good. Next up, hands. Demo man hands. Convert. And I think that's it. Well, let's do, do the blue jib. I don't think we'll need it, but just in case. So convert. And we're done. So you can minimize or close it, whichever one you want. Now, in 3DS mats, if you want to open up the texture, if you or the material editor in this case, uh, hit the M key, M in, as in mom. And you should see these little spheres pop up right here. Now, each one you can do put different textures on it. And in this case, we are going to put one for this, the very first one. So the, the bot, or in this case, Click the top left sphere, and next to the diffuse uh, bots right here, there's a little blank bots right here. It's like dark. It's like matching the background color. To the right of that, click that bots right here. Okay, now a little window should pop up, and we are going to select a BIP map, and this is where we're allowed to import the TGA. So we're going to go to our desktop demo and let's say the demo domain blue dot tga all right so now you see it a little sphere right here uh, that's the texture itself but it's wrapped around that sphere for a preview now what you want to do is you want to hold down the left click drag and drop all right now don't freak out if you don't see it that's okay and there's a reason why you have to enable it to view on the model so there's a little checkerboard if you look down the fourth icon from the right side. So one, two, three, four. There's a little checkerboard. And I'm assuming that's a light bulb next to it. And it says show shaded material and viewport. Click it. And you'll be able to see it. Now, I don't know why, but the head always goes with it. But let's we'll just ignore that for right now. Now, so pretty much you have a model already used and you can see the details. Now, you don't necessarily need to use the texture if you don't want to. It's not a mandatory thing. It's just to see all the, t the texture and detail. And if you're adding a model to, let's say, the chest or the arms or whatever, uh, you can see all this detail 
and be able to work with it and hopefully blend the taller steam with the original model. So now we're gonna try doing the head. So let's put the net sphere over, the second one, number two. Same thing, that's the diffuse bots. You'll see a little blank bots right there on the right. Click it, click it one more time. We're gonna click it once, click bit map, and we're going to do head. Now, here's the tricky part with, if you just drag this head texture onto the dumb man, it's going to, it's going to remove everything, what we just did. Okay, so if we put the chapter or the checkerboard to see it, the head's gonna be all over the model. So the head is okay, as you can tell, it's perfect, but the rest of the model is selected. So what we need to do in order to just have the head textured with the head texture, um, what we need to do is we need to, let's redo this. So the, for the first one, put it back on. Now, if you select the model, just left click it once, on the right side, you should see SMD import. That's just the name of it. And under edible mesh, click edible mesh. Now, there's different types of editing types you can use to create a model, edit it, delete it, etc. Um, for right now, I'll go into details later. But for right now, let's just select the element. It's a cube. Select element. And what you want to do, you want to select the head. Okay, and this is where you go back to the second texture for your head texture, drag and drop. Okay, so now you have the down man head and the body separate with the correct textures. All right, now, if you would like to have the feet imported as well, I don't know if you would want to use them or not, but it depends. Uh, let's say you wanted to create a custom shoe model for the down man. Let's say another pair of shoes for the workshop. Um, what you would want to do, you would you want to go back to import at the very top left, and you would want to scroll down to LOD1 demo, I'm sorry, LOD1 shoes body group. Now remember, if you do LOD sits, it's going to have a, low, a lower amount of detail uh, compared to LOD1. So we want the highest detail possible. So double click LOD1 shoes body group, click OK. Now it's going to say, well, we need a texture for it. Now the shoes texture is is going to be similar or on the same Delman Blue texture. So if we double click Delman Blue, and what's happening here, it's saying, well, the Delman character we imported is already Im as is already named SMD import. Now it's saying as well, we have to change the shoes name that we're importing to a different name. So you can call it shoes or just leave it how it is. It doesn't matter. So click OK, and then the shoes should pop up. So uh, now you have a fully textured and imported demo man into 3ds mats. And for the next tutorial, I'll be talking about how to do basic modeling techniques and also shortcuts for 3ds mats. Now remember, this same techniques we just did for importing this demo man into 3ds mats, you can do it any other source model, so a weapon, a miscellaneous item a, from a different game such as Left 4 Dead or Half-Life. So this is just the general premise of doing this. And I really hope this tutorial helped you guys out and I look forward to doing more in the future for 3DS Mats and also Team Fortress 2. Thanks for watching guys and I look forward to doing more. Take it easy and enjoy your weekend. Bye bye.